Let's look at a couple of examples of solving uh, Miller indices for directions in planes in crystal structures. In this example we've got a direction inside of a cube. The hardest thing about this is probably determining what the direction is and sort of visually making sense of it. I can convince myself that this point one half one half is actually on the ZX plane by drawing diagonals across this box and that will let me know that in fact um, this is the center of this one half and one half is the center of something and it's certainly the center of this X and Z plane. Okay and uh, convince yourself that it's uh, this two-thirds, two-thirds is on the XY plane. First thing that we have to do with calculating a direction is make sure that the tail is at zero, zero. And you can do this in your head, but perhaps the easiest way to do it is to calculate head minus tail. Okay, and that will give you a vector with where the tail is at zero zero okay and this would work of course if the tail were already at zero zero you would just calculate the vector to go from the tail to the head if you use this method though the tail would be zero 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 so this always works okay let's calculate the head the head is one half in the x direction zero in the y direction and one half in the z direction. The tail is in the xy plane, so we have two thirds, two thirds, and zero. Okay, now let's convert, uh, let's put everything under a common denominator so we can actually perform our subtraction. Okay, so we'll make this three over six, zero, three over six and we'll make this 4 over 6, 4 over 6, 0. Now we can perform subtraction and we'll subtract of course uh, the vectors in their respective dimensions from in their respective directions from each other. So 3 6 minus 4 6 equals negative 1 6 0 minus 4, 6 is negative 4, 6 or negative 2 thirds. And then 3, 6 minus 0 is going to be uh, 1 half. And finally, we want to put this into integer form. So I'm going to multiply through by 6 uh, because that's going to give me whole numbers for all of these values. So I'll get negative 1. 6 times 2 is 12, that's negative 4, and then this is 3. Finally, it's important to remember the form that the uh, final answer will come in. For a direction, which is really just a vector, we use the vector form, which means that square bracket, and then um, we also want to use a bar instead of negative. So 1 bar, 4 bar, three bar and that's the answer for that one okay let's look at an example that involves a plane now um, for a plane we have a really simple series of steps to follow and it goes like this first label the intercepts second take the reciprocal and third reduce simplify put it into integer form okay and uh, well we'll come back to this I guess the reason that it's a reciprocal has to do with the fact or the idea that how can we describe this plane well we can describe the plane using its normal vector. 
and there are two normal vectors um, that we'll, we could choose from, but we'll, we'll look at that at the end and we'll see that the normal vector gives us a, an opportunity to perhaps catch a mistake that we might make while doing this. Okay, so let's look for first the intercepts. Okay, and that'll be x, y, and z. So our x-intercept, we see that we smack right into the x-axis right here at uh, 1 half. The y-axis we never hit because this plane is parallel to the y-axis. Um, and so that's 0. And if the plane were if we moved this plane, you imagine moving this plane uh, back to the origin, you'd still find, what you'd find is that it was, um, it intersected the y-axis everywhere. And so the answer would be infinity. But when we take the reciprocal, it's going to turn, it's all going to come out in the wash anyway. Um, because we'll get 1 over infinity and that's going to give us 0. Um, also, uh, the Z plane here. So if you imagine the plane continuing on down like this, then it would intersect the Z plane at negative two-thirds. Okay. Step two, you take the reciprocal, so that's two, zero, negative three over two. And finally, we reduce. Okay, so we have we need to get rid of this uh, three halves or uh, negative three halves. Okay, so we'll multiply through by two, and we'll get four zero. Uh, you know, multiplying this by two, we'll get negative three. Okay, and I made a little mistake here. Remember that when we're talking about a plane, we describe the plane using a regular old parenthesis. So this would be 4, 0, and 3 bar. Now, I was mentioning before that we can check this. Remember that um, we describe a plane simply by talking about its normal vector. And if you want to be more specific, it's the normal vector and a point on the plane. But Remember, we don't care about uh, all planes. Can all planes can be sort of translated through the cube um, in this particular uh, scenario? So it's either a normal plane coming up out of um, a normal vector coming up out of the plane that way, or coming out this way. But either way, one of these should kind of make sense with the directions that are indicated by this vector. So this one here is the one, and you'll notice that we have. We're heading in the x direction. Uh, we aren't moving at all in the y direction, and we're moving in the negative z direction. Okay, so one of our normal vectors to this plane is further um, indicating that we've likely picked the correct solution to this problem.